right, here we go. All right, accent tag, Brooklyn. How it's said, pronounced in Brooklyn, New York City, USA. Brought to you by Amson. All right, so I'm gonna do the accent tag today. Um, you guys know where I'm from, Brooklyn, New York City. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, pronounce some words and answer some questions. Some of the answers are regional responses, which is the mid-Atlantic region where I'm from, New York City. Um, the different regions in America have different names for stuff like pancakes that are called flapjacks in the southeastern U.S. And some of the vowels are pronounced differently. Anyway, take it take a look uh, at what I'll be doing. So uh, the words. I'm not gonna pronounce them now because I'm gonna save that for later. But I want you to see what I'm gonna be pronouncing today and the questions I'll be asking myself and answering. I'm supposed to do this with a partner, but uh, you know, I'm gonna do this by myself tonight, so. Yep, here we go. So, um, I'll be pronouncing 30 words and answering 10 questions with regional answers, uh, native, New York, native New Yorker answers. So let's do this. First one, we got aunt. Some people pronounce it aunt. I pronounce it aunt. I call all my aunts aunt. Uh, aunt. Ready, let's go. Next one. Roof. In Japanese, tinjo or roof. So you got an emphasis, stress on the ooh, roof. So like, um, like on top of the roof, you'll meet me on a roof. Um, we're gonna throw a party, we're gonna throw a party on a roof. All right, next one, root. So, like Route 64 or something like that. I think Route 99 stretches from east coast to west coast, so you can take Route 99 all the way to California. It'll take you like maybe two or three days, depending on how fast you're going and the weather. But anyway, root, root. All right, wash. Okay, let's wash the car this afternoon. Um, let me let me wash up. I'm gonna wash up before I go out. So wash. All right, next one. Oil. So like, you know, what I'm saying I like olive oil. Um, not not the not not the character. I'm talking about actual olive oil that you cook with. Um, cooking oil. Um, uh, you, you gotta put oil in your car. Oil. Ready, next one. Theater. I like to go to the movie theaters on the, the movie theater on the weekend. So like the movie theater is cool. I like hanging out there. Um, one memorable time I had at the theater was when I went to go see Carlito's Way at the movie theater. Okay, iron. This next one's iron. I guess Tetsu in Japanese, Tetsu iron. Um, so like iron your clothes or like, you know, the iron plant down a, down a road or down a the street, there's an iron factory, iron. Next one, salmon. So I think like most mid-Atlantic, mid Atlantaners, Atla Atlant, I don't even think there's a, a name for mid-Atlantic, Atlantic, Atlanticers, um, Atlanteans. Uh, we pronounce it salmon. Um, you know, I've never been to the Midwest. Only probably when I was transiting through an airport in Minnesota, um, but that's like Northern anyway. Um, so I don't know how the rest of the country pronounces salmon. I know I say salmon, salmon. All right. This one, this one's the kicker because some people pronounce this caramel. Okay, yeah, right. It's caramel, cara, caramel. I like caramel ice cream, 31, uh, what do you call it? Baskin Robbins, 31 flavor, 31 flavors, um, ice cream, you know, caramel. 
and then we got fire so like yo we need we need some fire over here we're gonna i'm going to camping trip and we're gonna make sure that you bring the stuff so we can light a fire a nice have a nice campfire fire and then we have water so there's a uh, stress on the oil wall the a water you know let me get some water i need a drink of water let me get a sip of water you got some water in the store like you got some dasani water or like um you know i guess one one year in new york had a drought so they were pulling they were pulling water out of the hudson river and they were filtering that and we were drinking that i remember i will never forget that i'll never forget that time hudson river water we were drinking that so yeah unforgettable time all right, sure. Hey, you guys sure you ready? You sure you wanna do this? So, yo, you sure about this? All right, man, let's do this. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So sure. All right, next one. This is another kicker, data, data. So here we go. This Here's my here's the explanation for data, data. Data on a computer, data is when you're writing down some numbers. You got some data, you got the data on that. What about the data, the computer data? Computer data, computer language, something like that. But anyway, it's like data, data. So if it's dealing with computers, I'll say data. If it's just dealing with like someone writing something down, yeah, you got the data. You got the data on that, on those, on those, uh, whatever. All right, ruin. So yo, you guys ruined my wedding. You know what I'm saying? You guys ruined everything. You guys love ruining stuff. So there's got a, a stress on the ooh, ruin. Ruin. All right, here we go. Let's go. Next one. Crayon. Crayola crayons. I used to love those crayons. I used to love coloring the hell out of how out of some pictures with the crayons hey yo pass me a crayon crayon all right this is another kicker some people pronounce this new orleans i call it new orleans new orleans with the stress on the or new orleans i'm gonna go down to new orleans this this afternoon i'm flying down to new orleans this afternoon see you guys later all right, here we go. Pecan. Pecan. Some people pronounce it pecan. No way. I pronounce it pecan. I like pecans and I like pecan pie. You know what I'm saying? I like, uh, they're, they're like little sweet. They're sweet little, just delicious little treats, man. I love pecans. All right, next one. Both. So, both. Um, what are the both of you doing today? What, what are the both of you doing? Um, I like them both. I like them both. That's an easy one. Not too much accent behind that. Um, I guess some people pronounce it boat. Um, again, you know, for ESL learners, you know, they'll they'll pronounce it exactly the way it looks with the a a again. So a lot of my Japanese students pronounce it a game. So, you know, I have to correct them and show them it's like a, a E in there again. Yo, let's do this again, man. That was cool. I liked hanging out. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right. Some people, some people, I know this is probably, yo, we're probably going to go to the store. So, you know, actually, I think the B, the last B is silent when you like really speak, just native speed. I, I think we're probably going to go to the store. See, probably, probably, you don't say probably, we're probably, yo, we're going to probably go to the store. Um, We're probably going to go to like uh, Canal Street this weekend, probably. All right, here it goes. Now with the nasal in spitting, spitting image, cause we don't usually like, especially like mountain, Manhattan. Usually we don't say Manhattan. That's most ESL speakers will pronounce it exactly the way it looks, Manhattan. But of course natives uh, pronounce it Manhattan, like spitting, spitting, spitting image. Your spitting image of your father. All right, here we go. Alabama, cause I have roots in Alabama, so Alabama. Alabama, Alabama. So it's about four, 
four sounds. Ah, 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 ah. No, actually, I ah, threw two sounds. Alabama. Good. Anyway, let's go. Um, let's go lawyer. So, like, I'm gonna, we're going to go downtown and go see a lawyer this afternoon. So, we're going to pronounce the R, lawyer. Yo, Kleinfeld was a lawyer. Kleinfeld and Carlitos Wood was a lawyer. He was a shysty lawyer. He was a shyster. All right, coupon. Clip them coupons on um, Sunday. Clip, go start clipping them coupons to go uh, catch some savings at the supermarket. Some people call it coupons. No way. It's called coupons. Call them coupons, man. Clip them coupons. This one I love. Mayonnaise. Just straight up mayonnaise. Yo, give me some mayonnaise on. Give me some mayonnaise on my bread. I want mayonnaise and mustard and like more mayonnaise. And of course, ESL students will pronounce this mayonnaise, but mayonnaise, because they're not familiar with how natives say it. So they like pronounce it the way it actually looks. And you know, English is like, it's just like the uh, sound, the sound to uh, what spelling to just don't match. It's very like, like, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Let's go. Syrup. Yo, let me get some syrup on those pancakes. I want some syrup. Give me some maple syrup. I love maple syrup. 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 Next one. Pajamas. So, yo, let me get some pajamas. I gotta put some pajamas on. I don't wear pajamas. I wear shorts. Not no pajamas. I used to wear pajamas when I was small. So we got pajamas. Muzz. Not maz. Pajamas. 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 All right, let's go to court. Yeah, we caught them. Caught all. So that's in my uh my, my other video. My uh all. The sound of a. One of the sounds of a is all caught. Yo, we caught him. Yo, he caught the ball. And then like naturally. So like, yo, just he's just naturally, he's just naturally like a good speller, just naturally, you know what I'm saying? He's naturally, he's naturally gifted, you know what I'm saying? He's just naturally, so naturally, naturally, truly, so we'll go naturally, which is ESL students again would see rally, and they'll go naturally, so, you know, naturally, truly, naturally, naturally. Good aluminum, aluminum. Yo, I love uh, I, I love cooking with aluminum foil. I like to use aluminum foil because aluminum foil keeps the heat in. So it's like, um, like especially the Intimates cake. When you remember when we were young, back in the 80s, the Intimates cake it used to come with those aluminum pans at the bottom, like especially the apple pie, um, Intimates. And like you use those aluminum pans to like like you save them and you uh, like use them for like um, like like toasting bread you know uh, or putting some leftovers in there the aluminum aluminum ready and then yeah uh, ooh on en envelope. I don't know if anyone ever pronounces envelope, because that's weird. Envelope. These are envelopes. You got some envelopes? I gotta put a letter in this envelope. Give me an envelope. Okay, and then the bonus. We got a bonus. Watch this. I want you to try to pronounce this. How do you think you pronounce this? Try. I'll give you, I'll give you five seconds. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now if you're an ESL student, you'll probably pronounce it Virazano. 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 Probably for ESL. But anyway, it was Verrazano. Verrazano. Ready? Say it with me. The Verrazano. I went over to. Since I, I mean, I was born, I was born in New York City, but like, I've only been over the Verrazano Bridge, like, I don't know, about like three times in my entire life, maybe less than three, maybe two times. But, um, um, the Verrazano Bridge, 
I could see it from my window when I was uh, young. I used to live in Clinton Hills, and I could see the Verrazano. I used to live on the 11th floor. And I think he, that was the Verrazano. That was the Williamsburg Bridge. But anyway, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's a very, very long bridge. Um, and it connects, it connects to New Jersey. So yeah, Verrazano. All right, we got question time now. All right, here we go. So, number one, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Well, it's called, I'm gonna try to, I'm, 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 I'm gonna catch wreck on somebody. I'm really gonna hurt somebody if someone was ever, if someone were, were to ever do that to me. But, okay, so that's when you uh, throw toilet paper on someone's house, that's what it looks like, right? Um, it's called to toilet paper a house or if you want let's let's do some native stuff dude got his house toilet papered dude got his house toilet paper dude means person usually we don't usually it's not unisex so we won't say like a woman but we'd say this woman got her house toilet paper but dude is usually for a guy it's, it's a British word but you know we adopted it so all right let's go to the next one number two what is the what is the bug that when you touch it it curls up into a ball? Of course, a roly poly. That's what we call roly polies. A roly poly, that's it. Number three, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? You know what it is. Everybody knows what it is. And don't say soda pop. It's soda. There's no soda pop unless you're living back in the 50s. It's not soda pop. Sorry, dude. Soda. Um, number four, what do you call gym shoes? Um, well, uh, of course, we call them sneakers. It was called sneakers, right? But I know, you know when I went down south, you know, when I used to go down south to go see my grandmother, she used to always call them gym shoes. Or something else, tennis, tennis shoes. She'd call them tennis shoes. You know, so I was getting the best of both worlds. I was getting like the northern, because I was born in New York, I was getting the northern, um, you know, the northern words, and then you go down south and get them southern words, and she'd call them tennis shoes, but I always call them sneakers. Now, when I think about shoes, I think about dress shoes, you know, dressed shoes. So, anyway, let's go. Um, what do you say to address a group of people? And it depends on who you're addressing. If you're addressing like just people in general, you just say, hey folks, this is, you know, casual. It's not formal. So you just say, hey folks, or hey guys. You can use guys for both men and women. It's unisex. I've never, I've never had a woman get, uh, I've never had a woman um, get insulted for me saying, hey guys, you know, if she was, a, you know, with a group of men, you know, you got like maybe five, the ratio of five, five, five guys, five women, you know, and they still say, hey guys, it's okay. If it's formal, I would probably say everyone, hello everyone, hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Is everyone okay? Good, good, good to hear that. So that'd be more formal. Info, definitely informs like yo what's up folks what's up how's everyone doing what's up dudes and then what's the deal yo 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 what's the deal what's the deal so what's the deal is very informal so you don't want to walk into a job interview and be like yo what's the deal man you got my uh, resume you got my resume on file son anyway let's move on um, number six, what do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an old shaped body and extremely long legs? We call him Daddy Long Legs, and that's what he looks like. And he's got he's got only one segment. He doesn't have a, a two-segmented body like no, no, no spiders have a segment. No, they have two segments, right? The thorax and the other thing. I forgot that. Anyway, he's a Daddy Long Legs. I think these guys eat um, small bugs and they also feed on uh, mildew so you know and I never saw them in growing up in New York City I usually when I went down south I'd see daddy long legs all over the place they were creepy looking Yeesh. anyway let's go 
um, what do you call your grandparents? Well, having my grandparents in the South, I was, I was raised calling them my grandmother Big Mama and my grandfather Big Daddy. And that's due to my Alabama roots because my, uh, my mother is from Alabama, so we're uh, four generations out of slavery. I'm proud of that, you know, so. And she was born in Alabama. My great-grandfather was a sharecropper. And my grandfather was from Atlanta, I don't know, from Georgia. So, and my grandmothers, I guess our ancestors were straight out of Alabama, straight from the slave ships into Alabama. Um, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at a supermarket? When you carry groceries in a supermarket, it's different from when you carry groceries um, when you're leaving. So you have a, a shopping cart that you use inside the um, supermarket and then you have like the folding shopping cart that it's yours and you take home with you. So usually the bag kid the bag lady or whatever the bag man the bagger he'll um bag your groceries for, you know sometimes you tip them most people tip them and uh he'll put it in there and then you'll carry that home so that's what my mother used on when she used to uh, uh from her uh trip from the supermarket back home folding shopping cart all right and then Number nine, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Well, yeah, I used to think it was a rain shine, but I was wrong. So it's called a sun shower. Sun shower. All right, so it's called a sun shower. And 10, um, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? Of course, what do you think? Guess, a remote control. Use a remote control and in and, and, and Ego in, in Japanese, they call it remote re, re, remote con. I mean, they just shorten everything instead of just calling it properly a remote control. They go re, remote con. Doesn't make sense, but anyway. There you go, that's your remote control. Okay. And that com and that completes the accent challenge. If you have any words you'd like to hear pronounced the New York way, comment in the comment section below and we edit and that completes the accent challenge, sorry. And then the comments section. So um yeah just comment and like and subscribe too, okay people? You know what I'm saying? Just do that. I appreciate that. Uh yep. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. All right. Till next time. Later.